ካብ ሃገር ርሕ እንተይሉ ዝኽሻ ጎብለ ሩሻጣም እቲ ኣውሽታ ሃገር ንልዕሊ 30 ዓመታት ሰላማው ህዝብ እና በሳበሰ ንበይኑ ሓያልን ዘይድፈርን ዝመስል መራሕ ጉጅለ ህግደፍ ዝበዝሐ ግዜ ናብካል ኦታ ሃገራት ባካል ክበጽሕ ዘይብህጎሉ ቀንድ ምኽንያት ኣጉልሑ ዘርአ ኣብነት ሎምቅነ ኣብ ናይሮቢ ኬንያ ተዓዚምና ሎና መራሕ ጉጅለ ህግደፍ ኣብታ በይኑ ሰብኣይ ዝመስለላ ኤርትራ ተሸጊጡ ናኣበየ ሃገራት ዓቀይቱ ምል ኣኽን ምንታይ ከም ዝመረጽ ዘጋሃደ ኣብነት እቲ መራሕ ጉጅለ መስምዝዛ ምክንያት ሓደድ ኢትዮጵያ ካብ ማሕበረ ሰብ ዓለም ብሓፈሻ ሃገራት ምዕራብ ድማ ብፍላይ ከዘምቦ ዝኾነ ተነጽሎን ማዕጻዓትን ኣዳዓዲዑ ተረዲኡ ስለ ዘሎ ሓድሽ ዘባው ዲፕሎማሲ ጸወታ ጀሚሩ መህላው ክንሕብር ቀኒናይናም ንሱ ንመራሕታ ሃገራት ዝዘባ ብጽሑንና በለኽራኸብ ኣበ መምላሶም ድማ ኣይትሮስዑን ይኹም ዓድሙን ደኣይሉ ከምሕጸን ንሪ ኣለና ብዲሞክራሲያዊ መንገዲ ተመሪጹ ስልጣን ዝሓዘ ሓድሽ መራሒ ኬና ናብ ኤርትራ ኽበጽሕ ድሕረስ ተገብረሉ ዕድመ ኣበ ወርሕተ ሓሳስ ናይ ዘሓለፈ ዓመት መጽኒሩ ተዓዲ መለሶ ክብል ዝበለ ዝመስል እቲ ኬንያው መራሕ ድማ ሻቡ ንመራሕ ጉጅለ ህግደፍ ተማሳሳል ዕድመ ብመግባር እቲ መራሕ ጉጅለ ብሸሞንተን ሻዓተን ለካቲት ኣብ ኬንያ ቀኒሎም ሕጂ ብዛዕባ ኣብ መንጎ ኤርትራን ኬናን ተበጽሐም ዝባሃሉ ዝበዝሑ ካብ ኣቶም ብርግጽ ኣባይታ ኽትግበሩ ዘይኮኑ ሰመማዓት ኣይኮንናን ክንጽብጽብ ደሊና ከነሰብ ሁለሉ ደሊና ዘለና ዛዕባ ብዛዕባቲ ኣውሻጠ እንባገነኒ ዝብል ካብ ሃገር ርሕ እንተቢሉ ግን ነነብስኹ መርሕ ወን ዝጽገም ዝመስል ሽምኩል መራሕ ይግደፊም Thank you excellencies uh, my name is Emmanuel Gunza from BBC Africa uh, my question is to both of you excellencies regarding particularly Ethiopia both of the countries are heavily invested in uh, the uh, peace and security in Ethiopia and also in the region and part of the agreement that the country had made was for the withdrawal of uh, Eritrean troops uh, in uh, Ethiopia in Tigray region uh, have you discussed this and uh, how do you think about this in terms of taking forward the peace process Sorry, so, sorry, Excellencies, we'll take them in succession, please. I've gotten the... Repeat what, what I said. Can you, can you repeat your question again? Ni Ertran Hizban, kamay zbala wudu ulk misti kindu wudu za'akil ginka'a bisar'atan xiggin stamertsa kenao president nigazit awu ala qaribom bizahan nakh mengeddin zal alom zarabatatin zimolla som hututatin megmgam ukholium marahu gujilla hgdef kisab kinday dihiru khamzallo ab fella mizorob yi tkhishihum ab ertra dimts hizb chafliqo bizay sirat hgin 30 haden amat yimallakh kamzallo gidrasu nhadish marahu kenya anqa'at awat president awm richat hager ktkhawun baqa'aka kibl tazaribom bizhuwan ab shimglna zwatsu malakhti كفؤمن حمؤمن كشفو نمبر دخمتومن ابراتومن كرسعو ايتر اني خام كابتا سبات اندارا غونن انا سورن بتعننا نمرحت عالمن افريقيا ان نحميز نبر لا ايرترا وص انتيلو برداغي زرباز طفو وتا اتا ازدغاغم مرحت وديسون اقباطيرون زيربربشم غول مرحا هكدف اب كتما نايرو بزرا انا من قصاصن زسمو عم زربان نو بزحات ايرتراوان زحفرن زسدم ممن ينيرو خبالي قال don't add anything to a wise person's comments or <laughs> comment what you have said what you have mentioned is a joint statement for Eritrea and Kenya and beyond so thank you for that again you are inspiring millions across the region in Kenya Eritrea Somalia Ethiopia Sudan South Sudan Djibouti everywhere else and of course the continent so for that again i would like to sincerely thank you for this achievement this is a milestone this is a serious time where we as i indicated to you while we were joking we need to work 48 hours a day if there are 48 hours per day 
መስመራህታ ሀገራት ዘዋ ሆክ መሕዝነትና መስረተ ካበግዳማው ጻጥ ከሐባተ በግስ ዘሎ እትመራህ ጉጅለ ነቲ ነላል እስራ አመት ከና አሶን ከጉስ ጾን ጸንሐ ኢጋድ አይሶሙናይ ሳልስቲ ኤርትራ ዳግም ክጽምበሮ መኻና ምዝራቡን አትመራሒ ክሳብ ክንደ አምናይ ሕቁንን ጸምብርንን ተዋሶ ወፊሩ ኸም ዘሎ ዘግህ ነይሩ ላውዳ 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 ዊ ካን ሂያ ዩ ኦኬ ኩል ማይ ኔም ኢዝ ራይል ኦምቦር አም ዊዝ ዘ ዋሺንግተን ፖስት ሂያ ኢን አይሮቢ ሶ አም ዋት ኢዝ ኢሪትሪያስ ኢሪትሪያስ ሬስፖንስ ቱ አም ዊ ካንot ዊ ካንot ሂያ ዩ ካን ዩ ሬዝ ዩር ቮይስ ላይክ ዚስ ኦኬ ኩል ሶ ዋት ኢዝ ኢሪትሪያስ ካብ ጋዜጠኛታት ህቶታት ከመጽም መስጀመረ አዛኑ ህፃኑ አይሰራ አይመራሕ ጉጅለ ህግደፍ በፍላይ ስልጣንካ ማዓስ ከተረከብን አብ ኤርትራ ምርጫ ከካይድ እንዲ ዝብሉ ህቶታት ከምልሙድ መስአለመን ምሲጣንን ግዳማያን ኃይለታት አዛሚዱ ዘለ መግለጽታት ከህብን ንኸምኡ አርእስታት ፍጹም ተባዓት ከምዘይብሉን ከግህድን ይተራይም አብኪናት ሕድሕድ ኢትዮጵያ ክንደይ ዝኾኑ ሰራዊት ኤርትራ ወዲኦም ዝብል ህቶ መኻ አንኳይ ክምልሶ ወታአታ አብዝወዙሑ ዕላል ጸለመ ንሰማዓ ከሰልቹ ይተሰሚዑ በመሰረቱ እዚ አብኩትርሽም ግልና ዝር ከመራሕ ጉጅለ ንመንታይ ካብ ሀገር ወጽዩ መስመራህቲ ካልኦት ሀገራት ክዛመት ዘይመርጽ ከተማ ናይሮቢ ጽቡ ጌራ ብሪሃትና አላም Hi thank you um Kara Anna with the Associated Press I would like to follow up on a couple of my colleagues questions How many Eritreans were killed in the conflict in Tigray? And also what kind of succession plan do you have? Are you indeed president for life and if so what happens afterwards? Thank you. Same question. It's all it, it, it's intoxicating you. These lies and fabrications are keeping your mindset in the wrong direction. I say correct that. so that you can ask the right question at the right time. Thank you, Excellencies. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Gunza from BBC Africa. Uh, my question is to both of you, Excellencies, regarding particularly Ethiopia. Both of the countries are heavily invested in uh, the uh, peace and security in Ethiopia and also in the region. And part of the agreement that the country had made was for the withdrawal of uh, Eritrean troops uh, in uh, Ethiopia, in Tigray region. Uh, have you discussed this and uh, how do you think about this in terms of taking forward the peace process? Sorry, so, sorry, Excellencies, we'll take them in succession, please. further discussions regarding uh, the uh, peace process in Ethiopia uh, part of it was the uh, withdrawal complete withdrawal of Eritrean troops in Tigray region and how you see this as uh, uh, taking forward uh, that peace process i wish uh, there was a representative from the Ethiopian government here to address this uh, issue <laughs> because I, i i i i have no intention of interfering in this matter in spite of the disinformation campaign going on trying to disrupt the process of peace in Ethiopia and trying to create a conflict between Eritrea and Ethiopia which has been the norm for those who come to promote their agendas in the region we say enough is enough Ethiopia will have to enjoy peace the people in Ethiopia will have to enjoy peace what happened in Pretoria and Nairobi is a continuation of the aspiration and wish of the people in Ethiopia and everywhere in the region and Eritrea has no agenda no plan of uh, getting involved in this matter without the permission of the sovereign Ethiopian government you talk about the withdrawal or no withdrawal we've said this is nonsense don't provoke us to come to uh, a misunderstanding on this. why are you bothered about Eritrean troops who are there or not there come out and not come out let's assume that the peace process in Ethiopia is going without any obstacles we would like to see the agreement signed in Pretoria or Nairobi implemented on the ground so that we can secure peace and stability in Ethiopia for the benefit not only of Ethiopians but the whole region i think as uh, the president has, has told you uh, that is a matter that is clearly and squarely uh, going on on the ground i think we made huge progress tremendous progress in implementing the peace uh, agreement that was signed 
both in uh, Pretoria and Nairobi, and uh, all governments, including uh, Kenya, which is uh, a stakeholder in some way, all governments are satisfied with the implementation process of what is going on in Tigray. And therefore, I think it is a major milestone in the region providing a solution for challenges facing our region. The original agreement between Eritrea and, uh, Eritrea and Ethiopia was groundbreaking. This is something that was outstanding for many years. The fact that that was concluded peacefully in a progressive manner, and the fact that we are yeah. also making huge progress in ensuring that Tigray is safe and secure in accordance with the agreement that was signed is also testimony that the region is taking full uh, charge of issues that affect our region. One thing probably I may add and say, if you don't want this Pretoria and Nairobi agreement to be implemented, don't make a pretext of Eritrean presence or non-presence. This has nothing to do with the implementation of this arrangement, and don't look for excuse, don't look for pretext. That's not available now. Full stop. Thank you very much. Thank you. Two more questions? Um, thank you so much, Your Excellencies. Um, I have a question for Isaiah Zafwerki, His Excellency Isaiah Zafwerki. Um, still on Eritrea and um, Ethiopia. Louder, louder, louder. We can't um, hear you. Okay, cool. Uh, my name is Raya Lumbor. I'm with the Washington Post here in Nairobi. So um, what is Eritrea's, Eritrea's response to um, we the cannot, repeated... We, we cannot hear you. Can you raise your voice? Like this. Okay, yeah. cool. So what is Eritrea's response to um, repeated overwhelming documentation of uh, war crimes by um, Eritrea troops in Tigray? And why did it deny its presence uh, there for five months um, after the troops entered? Um, my second question is, um, how many Eritrean troops um, have been killed in Tigray? And my third question to you is, um, do you have a plan for transition of power or elections in your country? Thank you. <laughs> One question at a time. I will answer the first question. And... Uh, Don't take Eritrea as a pretext for problems in Ethiopia or elsewhere in the whole region. First and foremost, I would like to repeat this again and again and say, why is it an excuse for anyone, Washington Post or anybody else, as far as Ethiopia is concerned? This agreement is signed. It will take time to be implemented on the ground. and. It's up to the government of Ethiopia to decide on the mechanisms and processes of implementing this arrangement. Don't try to drag us into a situation. But again, this question will have to go to a factory, a factory I call fabricating lies and disinformation, and go ask that factory or the owner of that factory who is talking about human rights abuse we're talking about so many things happening on the ground. It's a fantasy, a fantasy of those who want to derail any peace process achieving its goal. If you are interested, I say you're wasting your time. Everybody talking about human rights, violations here, the rape, looting. This is a fantasy in the minds of those who are owning this factory I call a factory of fabricating misinformation. Okay. Hi, thank you. Um, Kara Anna with the Associated Press. I would like to follow up on a couple of my colleagues' questions. How many Eritreans were killed in the conflict in Tigray? And also, what kind of succession plan do you have? Are you indeed president for life? And if so, what happens afterwards? Thank you. <laughs> Same question. It's, all, it, it, it's intoxicating you. These lies and fabrications are keeping your mindset in the wrong direction. I say correct that so that you can ask the right question at the right time. 
Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellencies. I uh, would now like to invite you for a tree planting uh, exercise. Uh, for the rest of the delegation, you'll be guided by the protocol for the luncheon, and the journalists will be guided uh, where you'll take the pictures. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.